Hi guys, Marlon here. I'll be talking to you about Lean Methodology with particular reference to getting out of the building. We will discuss the advantages of Lean and look at how getting out of the building can assist with customer development. And action! Look familiar? As you should know by now, this is the business model canvas. Lean involves a series of guesses or estimates based on this canvas. For example, what do we think our customer segments are? How do we plan to add value to these segments? Which channels do we assume we will be using to reach these clients? Even factors such as the price we think they will be willing to pay. We refer to these estimates or guesses as hypotheses. Customer development is a formal process for testing all of your hypotheses. Sometimes we just want to build the program and start selling it. When doing this, most of the time you're going to be wasting a huge amount of time and money. This is because the things you believe or your hypotheses usually tend to be incorrect. Customer development is done almost entirely outside of the building, in front of customers, partners and other stakeholders. Hypotheses are tested with a series of experiments to figure out if they are correct or not. Feedback received should relate back to all elements of the business model canvas. When getting out of the building, what we want to find out is the following. Who is the customer? What is the problem? And what are the potential solutions that might solve their problems? Getting out of the building is the process of asking these questions and designing these experiments. Once the information is gathered, it's back to the drawing board, or rather the business model canvas. We then decide which changes we will make to the business model. Small changes are referred to as iterations and large changes are called pivots. A group of students decided to build a robotic lawnmower. Their first hypotheses were all about robotic mowing and after getting out of the building to speak to potential customers, it was discovered that the intended customer segment was not willing to pay the desired price. Someone then suggested that they approach farmers, so they got out of the building again, speaking to farmers this time, and it was discovered that they were quite pleased to hear about the robotic solution. So after speaking to about 85 customers, the team completely pivoted, changing assumptions about customer segments, important features of the machine, and even pricing. They learned from the farmers that instead of selling the machine, they should be leasing it based on the density of the weeds. They would never have figured this out by sitting in a building. This is just one example of how you can start with a series of hypotheses and later discover a completely different series of facts. Once I complete my degree, I plan to find employment working as either a business or systems analyst. I plan to work as an intern at a reputable company in either the banking sector or for the government. After completing the internship, I hope to be employed as either a business or systems analyst and climb my way up the corporate ladder. I would also like to assist startup companies in finding ways to digitize their business and make it more innovative. I plan to do all of this while I focus on building my own business, where I will be applying the lean approach. Thank you very much for listening and have a good day.
created using Paltoon.